I used to get bullied all the time, every day. I used to go to school and just think, is my day going to be okay? I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and I know that, you know, it's had an effect on others as well and that's something I do regret. This area of East London has one of the highest levels of knife and gang violence in the UK. It goes without saying this is a very tough place to grow up where violence can play a part of everyday life. The organisation Fight for Peace is trying to change that by helping young people who are most in need of structure to develop discipline and confidence. They do this by providing free boxing and martial arts training. Ebbs spent his teenage years getting into trouble with the law until a short spell in prison made him reassess the direction his life was taking. It was a normality. It was just everyday life. Everybody around you was involved in the same thing, so you didn't see it. I didn't, well, I didn't see it, you know, as being anything. It was, you know, troublesome, malicious. It was just a normality to us. And when did the change come then? What, what triggered that? When I first came here, I just thought it was a boxing gym, a place you could train for free. Right. Once I got involved heavily in it, I realised there's a lot of different opportunities here. Many people are kind of sceptical, they're fearful, they think the children are going to come here and learn how to fight and go out there and use it, but some of the skills you learn in here, you know, you become more patient, more understanding. A lot of people have had a high percentage of people that come with anger problems. As a result of being part of the academy, they're able to reduce their anger problems, their aggression problems, they're able to express themselves in different ways. Fight for Peace also aims to help young people who have been affected by crime, like Bart, who at the age of 13 suffered a horrific attack. I used to get bullied all the time, calling me, call, people used to call me names, they used to be racist to me. I, was, I had a feeling inside me, when I was sitting in class, I just want to stand up and scream, to say to everyone, just stop. I came home from school, put my bag down, my mom, my dad, my sisters, we were outside that door, trying to get in. I got beaten up badly, I was on the floor. So imagine for mum seeing his own kid, you know, bleeding on the, on the road. And here we are today then, do you feel that now you have control? of your life? It took me a lot to get out from the situation I was before. Yeah. Like coming coming in and train every day just it cleans your mind, it cleans your soul as well. Since I came in my whole life changed. Sport relief funding is invaluable to fight for peace. We are changing young people's lives. They are working with us, changing their own lives and we're creating life champions. For me, this training teaches the, the young people so much about themselves, you know, it teaches them a lot about life as well. So yeah. as well as getting fit, you know, it shows them how they can interact with others. Looks pretty uh, intense some of this training. Uh, give it a try yourself. And then four times. Push, 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 push. Come on, come on. Ah. That's it. Since I came in, my whole life changed. I'm more positive for myself, like doing better things than I did before. This is more like a real dream. It came to my life. One, two. Three. I can see exactly why this works, to be fair, because everything you know is stripped away. It feels good. Very good. Thanks. Good stuff. Unfortunately, you're not just shaking my hand, you're pulling me up for round three, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly that.